Ready to go? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, early this morning, our Violence Intervention Proactive Enforcement Response Team received information from the FBI and the Port St. Lucie Police Department that a suspect who committed a bank robbery yesterday up in the Port St. Lucie area was in Pompano. Uh, a flyer was produced. Our team responded to the flyer and went to a residence in Pompano. Uh, in the yard, they observed a white Lexus vehicle. They ran the tag of the vehicle. The tag came back to the suspect in the bank robbery. Our detectives set up on the vehicle. A surveillance was conducted. And about 15 minutes later, our detectives uh, observed the vehicle uh, driving to uh, this business complex that you could see over my shoulder, located in the 1300 block of East Sample Road. As the vehicle pulled into a parking space uh, with the suspect driving and uh, an unidentified female at that time in the passenger seat, uh, the, the vehicle pulled into the west side of the complex and our team, uh, there were two vehicles, five deputies approached from opposite sides with two goals in mind. Uh, the goal of one team was to take the suspect into custody and the goal of the other, uh, of the other team was to make uh, safe the woman in the vehicle. As we approached simultaneously and were uh, trying to achieve both of these goals, we were able to get the woman out of the vehicle safely. The subject entered into a struggle with our deputies. During a portion of the, tr of the struggle, he came free from their physical, physical grasp. He reached under the floorboard of the vehicle. He produced a handgun. Four deputies fired simultaneously. Tragically, the suspect uh, succumbed to his wounds within the vehicle. Where we're beginning the investigation now. Was the female believed to have been involved, or was uh, that an innocent passenger? At this time, we have no reason to believe she was involved. Was she endangered? Well, she was in a vehicle with a, a, a subject who had committed an armed robbery. Confirmed that Yes. Do you have a name of the suspect yet? Yes, but we're not going to release it right now. Did he have any weapons or fired shots, or was it just the altercation? He uh, reached under the floorboard of the vehicle and produced a, uh, a firearm that was seen by all four of our deputies. Our deputies fired simultaneously. Did he get How a shot off? I don't know. So did you say how many times they fired? I don't know. Not to my knowledge, no. She's uh, safely being interviewed right now. Sheriff, I'm sorry again, but I, I couldn't hear you. Did you say, did he get a shot off or not? I don't know. You don't know. Sheriff, you said there was a struggle between the suspect and the deputies. Was that outside the vehicle or inside the vehicle? No, ma'am, that was inside the vehicle. So they they were trying to extricate him from uh, and take him into custody uh, using uh, their hands. Uh, okay. As I said, they uh, found him to be uh, inside his vehicle or eventually went inside his vehicle at a, a residence a short distance from here uh, after they set up surveillance there for about 15 minutes and they followed him uh, to this final, uh, the final, uh, where the final event happened uh, at this business complex located in the 1300 block of East Sample Road. Is he suspected in any other bank robberies or just the one in Port St. Lucie? Uh, the FBI is investigating that as we speak. Can you tell us a little more about the Viper team? Which these guys are undercover. Are they trained for this type of, uh, uh, you know, this type of arrest? Or obviously, it's very, very dangerous. Yeah, it's a very dangerous job. This team is not undercover. They work in plain clothes. Uh, they're not doing any undercover operations, but they work in plain clothes. And what they do each and every day is they uh, locate where 
six percent of the most violent offenders in broward county are who actually commit about seventy percent of the violent crimes in our county and that's why this agency has been so abundantly successful at reducing violent crime during my two and a half years as sheriff this team is very instrumental in that they are specially trained they train tactically and operationally they practice maneuvers so they're a highly trained group of detectives who take their job very seriously a job that's very dangerous and I'm talking to anybody at the residence where he was first discovered the possible accomplices could money be retrieved there as you can see we have maybe 50 or 60 members of our agency at this scene right now and we're canvassing the area we'll canvass this area we'll go up to Port St. Lucie we'll go over to that home we'll leave no stone unturned and I know often times as members of the press while you're setting up people will come over and give you information or tell you who they are if you get the name or somebody wants to speak to us and they have information our detectives are here today ready willing and able to follow up on these leads thank you very much for your time I really appreciate it yes last question No, but but our, our director of uh, PIO, Kayla Concepcion, she's here today, and as she gets more information, she'll disseminate it to the media. Thank you again. I appreciate it. Where, where's the initial contact was made? Not right now. Okay. Thank you all. Thank you.